what's good our squad welcome back to our sneakers i do apologize for not uploading yesterday i don't know if you guys know but the engineering life is so damn hard there's so much work to do i'm always in school i was literally in school in my college of engineering for like seven hours yesterday i was there from like 12 to 7 and then i went home eight and then i don't know what else i did after that but it just took me that long to just do homework go to class and then do homework again it's just i'm always busy you guys gotta bear with me on that because it's really hard to upload i tried my best to actually come home and upload even if it was at a later time i still tried but it just didn't work out anyways today's video is on how to make a custom bandana a lot of you guys have been asking me about this bandana i've been getting a lot of comments asking me where do i get the bandana how do i make it and i figured i was gonna start selling them but i just don't have the time to do it and i really want you guys to do them because i want everybody in our squad to have a headband that says this on it and if not I might just change it, maybe you can say our sneakers or whatever. Honestly, you can make it say whatever, but I just want everybody to have their own bandana. The first thing you need to do is get a plain white bandana. You can get a 10 pack on like Amazon, or I think it's a 12 pack for like $10. It's like a dollar each one, pretty cheap. Or you can go to Sally's, which is where I got this one. And this is the right size. It's supposed to be 22 inches by 22 inches. You gotta make sure it's 22 by 22 inches. If not, it's just not gonna fit around your head. Like this one is 22 by 22. This one's 22 by 22, but I bought one from Walmart. There were handkerchiefs and they were pretty small. They were like 15 by 15 and they just did not fit. I don't know if I have a big head or what but it just did not fit so you guys need to buy 22 by 22 make sure you get that size if you want to just buy one and test it out all you got to do is buy one from i think it's called joann's just ask them where their bananas are somebody in there will know just keep asking because like a few people didn't know when i went there but i'm pretty sure somebody will know and get it all plain white one there's a bunch of other colors you guys can get it on i was gonna get a zebra one and then wear that when i wore my zebras and match them but i was just like let me just get a white one because the white one just literally just goes with anything once you do that you also need to get transfer paper so this is the transfer paper that i bought it's the avery brand this cost me like around less than ten dollars so in total, you can make custom headband for like $15, less than that. I mean, it's a little expensive, like I said. That's why I'm not going to sell them because it would just take way too long, way too much time. And just the money, it would just be too expensive to sell them. The, and so I was like, you know what? Let me just show you guys how to make them. So unfortunately, I don't have an iron to show you guys exactly how to do this. Like, I can't show you step by step, but it's not that hard. I really didn't want to do this because it's like perfectly fits my head. But I'll just do it to show you guys. So you want to start by folding it in half and then make a crease there. And then you're going to get these ends right here and you're gonna fold into the middle and you're gonna keep folding every single part into the middle every single time. So basically you're gonna fold it like that and then after that you're gonna fold it again in half. So then you fold it like that and then it's gonna end up like, just looking like that. And then you're gonna fold it one more time so it's gonna be a total of three folds and you get this fold. And you're gonna do the same thing with the other half and when you do that, you get something like this. As you can see, I made two prints. I made one on like each half. The first one that I did, I kind of burnt it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it looks a little brown because I held the iron on too long. After you do this, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and use your transfer paper. You want to go ahead and type whatever you want in or find a picture and put it in Word and then print it out on that paper. Once you have it printed out, you want to go ahead and cut it out. You want it to be inverted like this one because this is supposed to be inverted since it is like the Yeezy. If you guys know, the Yeezys all come like inverted, the words. But you see that when you go to type it in, you leave the image normal. You leave it like from left to right and you don't flip it you don't reverse it or anything but if you want it to come out like so you can read it on the headband once you print it on you need to flip the image because it's going to be backwards on the actual paper but once you go to actually put it on the headband it's going to be normally like reading from left to right once you have that done you want to cut it out as small as possible get to the edges as close as possible i don't know if you guys can, it's really hard to see it because it's like a clear paper but i did cut to the edges of the s the x and the tops and the bottom and i got that as close as i can as possible and once you cut that out you want to go ahead and lay your paper down try to center it perfectly and all that exactly just put it where you want it and then you're gonna get an iron and you're gonna put like a piece of clothing under it you can put a towel it doesn't matter when you do it you want to go ahead and put the iron on for like 30 seconds you don't want to keep it in the same spot though you want to move it around because if you keep it in the same spot you're gonna get this brown mark and you really don't want that so you want to go ahead and move it around a few times for like 30 seconds and then let it cool down to give it like five to ten minutes to cool down and then at that moment it should not be able to peel off at all then from there you basically got your custom bandana you can really just do this with anything you can do it with shirts you can do it with freaking shorts probably too i don't know you can really do it with anything dm me pictures of when you guys do them like dm me on twitter not on instagram because instagram i can't zoom in so dm me on twitter the pictures that you guys have you can even email me the pictures if you don't have a twitter because i know some of you guys don't and that's pretty much it if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to give this video a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe and also comment down below what you guys think about these bandanas if you guys didn't know i am doing a giveaway on this mask right here it's a zebra mask if you had to go in the description down below click on the link and then follow all the entries and for every single thing you do you get an entry i do got to give a shout out to the fan of the day and today's fan of the day is abra turkey 28 congrats to you you entered the giveaway for the end of this month but that's not entering the giveaway for the yeezy mask enter that like i said it's a whole it's a whole different process you gotta do what i just said before anyways guys make sure you stay woke it's your bar sneaker signing out